Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to the Bogey Free Back and Body live video uh, for this week. Uh, I am Dr. Eric Wallace, a golf performance specialist and rehab practitioner here at Modus Arx Physical Therapy, um, trying to basically give some information in this group about the different golf performance things and golf rehab things that uh, we're utilizing and provide some education out there for individuals that uh, really need some help with their body to help them golf whenever they want, wherever they want, as much as they want, however they want. Um, and really, hence the name of the group, build some bogey-free backs so that we can crush it off the tee and play pain-free. So uh, in about a half hour or so, I'm gonna have some junior golfers in here uh, we are doing our two times a week class with some um, actually middle to late middle schoolers, seventh, eighth graders, and um, a lot of fun. Uh, but what's interesting about it is that a lot of the things that we utilize in the class for these junior golfers are actually a lot of the same things that I am going to be applying with my adult golfers, uh, especially adult amateur golfers. Um, there is a misconception for a lot of us that we need to be more flexible, more mobile, we need to get a bigger turn. Um, yes, these things are nice, and yes, for a decent portion of people, it would be, it would be beneficial, but it's certainly not the most important thing like uh, a lot of people would talk about. So the three things that we're working on with our junior golfers, and really the reasons why, is what I'm going to go over time. Uh, so first of all, the first thing that we're doing right now, uh, because we have two months in Wisconsin here, we have two months until golf season kind of really is going to kick off. And so the first thing that we're really focusing on is strength, okay? Um, if you think about a baseball player, if you think about uh, a basketball player, if you think about a football player, uh, they're, they're focusing on strength training, right? And we need to get over the fact that golf is somehow different. Um, it's not, right? The, the Yes, the demands are a little bit different. Uh, maybe your heart rate is not going to be jacking to 170, 180 at, at any particular point in your round. Uh, maybe you're not getting blindsided uh, or having to do any sort of significant juke or cut move, but the golf swing itself, and I'm gonna put it blunt, um, is violent. A lot of people don't think of it like that, but the golf swing itself is violent. And it's violent because, A, you need to be able to incorporate every muscle in your body fast and in a very specific order to hit this little white ball off of the ground, and uh, it, it takes its toll on you, whether you think it does or not, especially if you're playing nine holes, 18 holes, day after day after day. So the strength is really meant to build up a capacity and build some resilience to the demands of the swing, which again is violent. It's, um, it's rotational, it's total body, and it is speed-based. And if the body cannot accelerate and decelerate properly, then you are going to be at risk for some injury. So the first thing is strength, right? You should be building a relative amount of strength training so that you have the capacity to handle the golf swing, which is violent, and uh, the re repetitive nature of the golf swing, which if you play a lot, then you can't really avoid. All right, number two, the other thing that we're working on a lot with junior golfers is speed, okay? So um, club head speed is not the only prerequisite for distance, right? So you can swing your club fast and not have the ball go that far. Let's, let's put that out there, but it is hard for many of us to hit the ball as far as we ideally would like to if we don't have some relative amount of club head speed. And the way that you develop club head speed outside of um, you know some of the different super speed stick protocols and other kind of gimmicky things that are out there, the way that you get faster in the golf swing is by getting faster in other things. So training for club head speed should mean that you are uh, working on sprinting. Uh, working on jumping, working on quick bursts of movement that are speed-based. Um, you know, a really, really rapid effort at jump rope, a uh, really rapid effort at sprinting. Uh, these are things that we actually are doing a lot because 
again, the golf swing is a total body movement that happens rapidly. Uh, and if you can't sequence that or you can't perform that in the gym or off the course, it's gonna be very hard to all of a sudden be able to go to the course and do that as well. So speed, right? Moving with intent, moving with purpose, and seeing how fast you can actually incorporate the muscles that you have. That's the second thing that a lot of our junior golfers are working on and uh, what we believe you should be as well. The third thing is separation of the key components of the body. So very generally, being able to separate your upper body from your lower body, all right? Um, there's a really important thing that happens with our arms and our wrists and our hands in the golf swing. Uh, and sometimes that is a technical thing that a swing coach should be working on you with. But the foundation of what we work with body mechanics wise is separation of your lower body from your upper body. And the only thing you need to know more beyond that about why that's important is that's what's going to help you develop a good swing sequence, right? If you cannot separate your lower half from your upper half and you try to swing the golf club like one giant wooden block, then you're not going to be able to develop, to, to develop the appropriate swing sequence. Uh, and you're not going to have very good contact. You're not going to have very good repeatability in the swing. And then once again, it all comes back for a lot of people, they want more distance, right? So if you can't get that sequence and you can't get that separation, especially if you don't have levers like Dustin Johnson, you're not tall, or if you don't use the ground very well, meaning you don't have leg strength, you need to have that separation in order to hit the ball with any sort of pop, all right? So separation is gonna be really, really important for consistency, repeatability, ball striking, and uh, power, all right? So those are the three things. Um, if you have any questions more about that, then certainly let me know in the comments below. I know a couple people hopped on live here and appreciate your time. Um, if you're happen to watch this live, make sure you type in live and I'd like to see, I can't actually see who's on. Um, and if you happen to catch the replay, make sure you uh, type into the comments replay and any questions that you might have about this. Um, the common thing that I hear, if I ask people, you know, the golfers that we're working with in the, the off season here in Wisconsin, you know, what are you doing? It's a lot of cardio and it's a lot of mobility, all right? Certainly a hell of a lot better than not doing anything, but for the majority of the golfers that we work with, they actually don't need as much in the cardio department and the mobility department as much as they need in the strength department, especially lower body strength. Um, in the speed department, total body speed, how much speed can you generate, how quickly can you move, and then separation of the upper and lower half, right? So if you have any questions about that, certainly let me know. Um, I do have a program coming up that we're going to be starting in March uh, called the Bogey Free Back and Body Program. And these three elements are gonna be covered in that program, all right? I'm looking for a group of 10 to 20 individuals. Uh, since this is the first round of the group, I'm looking for a group of 10 to 20 dedicated individuals that are willing to invest a little bit of money. It's not gonna be huge. It's my first go at this. I wanna give people an idea and a taste of what it's all about for probably about half the cost of a driver um, to give you a lifelong amount of exercises and strategies, give you a permanent database of things to work on, as well as um, you know live coaching and guidance that way. So we're gonna be kicking that off. If you have any interest in that program at all, it's gonna be all online. Uh, you don't have to be present in the physical at all certainly let me know. Um, type in the comments and say you're interested and I will uh, make sure I get you some more information about logistics, time, and cost, and then time uh, requirements as well. But really all it's going to be is one to two hours a week, uh, kind of a virtual coaching, and then you're going to be able to work on the program that you'll get independently um, and we'll be able to talk about things as we go, of course. So uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. Otherwise, those are the three things that we need to be working on. Many of us are not. I love the cardio, I love the mobility. Don't get me wrong, it's important, but we're kind of missing the boat a little bit on the golf side of things if we're not focusing on strength, speed, and separation of the upper and lower half, all right? Hope everybody's having a great week, and we will chat soon. Looking forward to seeing some comments below and getting some engagement started. And be on the lookout for that bogey-free back and body program. Obviously, everybody that's members in here will have first dibs on that. Uh, like I said, I am looking for 10 to 20 individuals and that first go around, it's going to be cost effective and you're going to have lifetime access to 
all the future programs and updates moving forward. So make sure you let us know. Uh, appreciate your time. Hope everybody's having a great week and uh, have a good weekend.